Hey everybody, so this video will, will be very quick. It's just going to be about setting up your introduction for the rhetorical analysis essay. So again, if you're on the prompt, go down to the tools and the second tool down there is how to set up your introduction. So your introduction should have three parts. It should have a summary of the article that you're looking at. So a summary of either Pollen's or Foster Wallace's. Um, your summary should be about five to six sentences and you want to try to summarize all the main claims. Um, you don't need to necessarily have to, you know, each main claim have its own sentence. Um, when you think about something like Paul and he's got, you know, he's got a pretty long essay. You can just basically um, kind of summarize his point in each one of those sections that he develops. Um, and with Foster Wallace, you can kind of summarize his kind of what he's doing at the beginning of his essay and then what he's doing at the end and the different arguments he has about um, the ethics of eating lobster. Really, it's two arguments that he ends up talking about. Or it's those two points that most ethicists agree are important to consider when, when you're kind of trying to evaluate the ethics of eating um, uh, eating animals. Okay, so that's your summary. So your summary um, should be five to six sentences. Um, remember, summaries shouldn't have any evidence or direct quotes, and you want to make sure that um, you have what I'm calling here the reporter or the objective voice. So make sure that you don't somehow slip in using your language choices what you think about the, the argument itself. Um, so you don't want to, like, let's say you don't agree with Foster Wallace, you don't want to kind of have language in there that kind of indicates that you don't think his argument is very strong. So make sure you just keep it a, an objective reporter voice. I have a sample out here you can take a look at as well. Okay, the rhetorical context. So that's those, those seven questions that we looked at um, last week when we were talking about critical thinking um, for each one of those articles. And I don't know if you guys remember, but um, one of the steps I told you guys which questions were important to consider for um, the rhetorical context or more helpful to when considering the rhetorical context um, of that particular article. So go back into those documents, look at those, um, whichever ones I indicated um, were more important um, for, for whichever article you're looking at. And then finally, your thesis. So those are the three components and how you guys organize this is up to you. Some people like to do um, like the first paragraph is their summary and then the next paragraph they combine the rhetorical context and the thesis. Um, some people like to do rhetorical context first. So they discuss the rhetorical context, then they give the summary, then they put their thesis and it's all in one paragraph. So you can kind of decide whatever makes the most sense for you, but each of those three elements has to be there. On the sample essay here that I, that I linked to, um, this one's a little bit more in depth than I'm going to ask for you, but you can kind of see on the side, I apologize that this, um, this photocopy didn't come through very well, the scan didn't come through very well, but you can kind of read on the side, that's the annotation that it's talking about. So here we have the rhetorical context here kind of set up at the beginning, um, and then we get, um, this well, This one offers some background on Goodman, um, the, the, the author here herself. You don't need to necessarily do that for our essay. Um, then we get the summary, and then this writer decided to do a whole paragraph for the thesis, and so you can kind of see how that one set it up. Um, again, how how you decide that you would like to do each one of these elements is completely up to you. Um, you can decide to um, put them all in one paragraph or break them apart somehow. Just make sure you have those, those elements in there. Okay, guys, we'll talk soon. Let me know if you have questions.